boys and girls, you are welcome to join us on our service online. We are going to have so much fun, but before that, let's pray. I dear everlasting Father, I come before you thanksgiving in our hearts. God, that protect us and bless us, oh Lord. Please help us to have a good day, oh Lord, and guide every one of us. Oh Lord, thank you for this service, the industry, our pastors, our parents, and all of us, oh Lord. Guide us and protect us, oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go dance. Yay! Has fallen, when fear is coming, still you're calling me. When faith is lost and my hope exhausted, you will be my strength. When my mind says I'm not good enough, God, you're enough for me. I've decided I'm not giving up. You won't give up on me, you won't give up on me Your love is holding on and it won't let go I feel it breaking out like an echo Your love is holding on and it won't let go I feel it breaking out like an echo Echo in my soul and girls. Hi, Sissy. Hi. Lovely to see all of you once again and welcome to today's Sunday lesson. We have been learning about something. Sissy, what have we been learning about? We've been learning about audacious faith. Yes, we've been learning about faith and this time audacious faith means faith that is big, big faith, a lot of faith. And uh, today's lesson we are combining with being fearless and we are going to learn how having faith in God makes us fearless. And the lesson is about a man called Samson. Do you know who Samson is, Sissy? Yes. Who is Samson? Samson was this strong man. Yes, Samson was a strong man. He was strong from when he was a young, young boy up to when he was a big, big man. And Samson had a lot of strength. God gave him power to become strong. 
But one day, boys and girls, Samson was betrayed. Do we know what to be betrayed is, Sissy? Yeah. What is it? It's when someone does something bad. Yes, Samson was betrayed. Someone did something bad and went and told the Philistines, who are enemies of the Jews, Samson's secret of where his strength came from. All the Philistines came and they took him, Sissy. They took Samson to jail. Ah, it was very sad for Samson. He was taken to jail and he no longer had that much strength after he was betrayed. But guess what, boys and girls? Samson did not give up on praying to God. And even when the Philistines could tell him, they could let him come out and they laugh at him. They mock him. They say, you no longer have your strength. Where is your strength? Where has it gone? Samson went back and continued praying to God. So guess what, Sissy? One day, there was a big, big party. Have you ever been to a big, big party? Yeah. There was a big, big party. And these Philistines wanted Samson to come out so they, they could continue laughing and mocking him, Sissy. They wanted to keep saying, oh, you don't have any strength anymore. Show us your strength. Oh, you can't do anything to us anymore. And so Samson was brought out to come to the party. And they had already started mocking him and jeering him. And then Samson prayed one last time to God. And he had stood next to some pillars. Yeah, Sissy, you know pillars are those ones that are standing next to a building, tall, tall, like that on one side, and another one on the other side. Those are called pillars that hold the building up, that hold the house up. So Samson stood next to the pillars. And he prayed, Sissy. And he prayed and he told God, God, please give me strength one more time so that I can defeat my enemies. And then Samson did a fearless thing. He was fearless and he put his hands on the pillars. Sissy, let's put our hands. He put his hands on the pillars and he pushed with all his might, boys and girls. He pushed totally and the pillars came down and all the people in the party, they died. And that is how Samson defeated all his enemies. Sissy, he defeated his enemies. He defeated more people than he had when he had strength. Now, because of praying, once again to God to give him the power to be fearless, he was able to defeat his enemies. And that's what we want, boys and girls. When we are fearful, when we are scared, when we don't know what to do, let us pray to God to give us power so that we are fearless. And that is our lesson for today, boys and girls. And now let's go to the memory verse. Memory verse 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Let's say it together. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Welcome back, boys and girls. Now, this month we have the same memory verse. I know you already have it at your fingertips. But it has forgotten. Oh my. Sissy, mm -hmm. do you remember what the memory verse says? Yes. Please recite it together with the boys and girls at home once again. Our memory verse comes from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. And it says... For God has not given us a spirit of fear or timidity, but he has given us a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. Yes, power, love, and self-discipline.
16. We have not been given a spirit of fear, boys and girls. Okay? Isn't that amazing, Sissy? Yes! And now, boys and girls, guess what time it is? It's time to give! give. Yes! It's time to give money for Jesus. Jesus. As always, ask mommy, ask daddy, ask your siblings to help you give using the church pay bill number written below. And clap for yourself, Sissy. Let's clap for them for always remembering to give money for Jesus. Jesus. And now we have to leave, but we have to remind the boys and girls, Sissy, what have we been learning about? We've been learning about the story of Samson. Yes, we've been learning about the story of Samson, how to be fearless. And how to be fearless also means that our faith increases. And what does it become? Audacious faith. And boys and girls, let's pray before we leave. Sissy, let's close our eyes. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this lesson. We pray the Lord you shall be able to help us each and every time when we need help, when we are scared, when we need to be courageous and fearless. Just like Samson, just like you helped Samson when he asked for your help. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So boys and girls, may the grace of oh our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the, the love, love of God and, and the, the fellowship, fellowship of, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. See you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.